Hello guys and welcome back to uh, the early morning grind. Mm, we just lost a big pot on the left and uh, let's just see what uh, hands uh, these gentlemen showed up with. Um, Ace King Jack 9 and a 4. Uh, being double suited uh, from under the gun, I will be opening. How many checks to me? I can certainly um, consider betting, and I think I will. One stab. Uh, here uh, with uh, two pair and no backup in the pot. And uh, I mean, we have a uh, backdoor spades, but that's about it. Uh, my guess is he has a lot of queen jack 10. Of course, he has a set which we are not beating. I think we backdoor that one, and that's uh, totally fine. So, um, here with this uh, beautiful hand and a 28-29, let's call it a 29 a big blind uh, stack, we squeezed, having a very well suited, very well corrected hand. Um, the flop is where it gets, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the flop is where it gets uh, interesting because here I can certainly consider check folding despite uh, the SPR. Uh, I mean, someone could potentially have me drawing uh, dead, which was the case. But uh, even if that weren't true, against a higher flush draw, I am also drawing extremely thin. And uh, with so many players, I mean, two other players in, it's just uh, very tough for us to take this one down. And uh, that's what uh, happened essentially. Uh, as you will see what these gentlemen show up with. Uh, one second here with the backdoor flush draw, I am going to bet and stack off. And as you can see, one of them had pocket threes and nines, and the other one had uh, five three. So, anyway, a little ways to play the hand. It seems like we have aces and queens and we get uh, squeezed, we raise and we uh, we raise, so things are going pretty crazy. So uh, we need to take this one down. If we don't, then well, I'll see if I'm in the mood to uh, play, the, play anymore. Okay, we split that one up. Between MA, 8, 7, and I, and uh, really complain. Here with the uh, connected uh, low cards on the button, uh, one suit, uh, uh, it's a give up for me. A pot size bet he is representing 5 8, and we have uh, a straight flush draw. We have one person behind us, I think we'll call. Uh, but once it goes, uh, a bit big. here again with double suited, double paired aces, I do want to get a lot of money in pre. This is certainly a hand you could take multi way with. Plenty of opponents, but I think uh, this is all right. Uh, on this board, I think checking back is fine. And we can certainly, uh, instead of betting this, however, once he bets, I'm not going to raise. And I'm going to give it up. Don't expect a lot of bed folds from him. 
as is often the case. Here with the disconnected kings, I am going to give it up. I could have uh, considered uh, betting on the king jack board. Let me see. Uh, Um, here, against a big bet, this is a fold. I did have uh, future blockers, but getting raised uh, in, in that spot makes it uh, extremely ugly. We had backdoor spot. Spades and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Future blockers. And I understand that's a very important concept, but uh, in a player pool that is extremely coil heavy, uh, for now I am going to uh, think little of it. I mean, the GTO. Play would probably be a bet fold, and I totally understand. But for most of us uh, Desi guys on uh, Bazi, I don't think they are playing GTO. And uh, taking uh, negative EV stabs like that, in in my opinion, is not a good idea. Here, out of position against uh, two of the bigger stacks in position against a uh, similar stack. I don't think there's a lot of point uh, buying and rebuying. Mm, very well connected hand. Can consider squeezing, but with four clubs, I won't. And here, with this hand, I, I win. Again, the same thing, but we have a cut shot and the second nut flush draw, and the SPR is less than two, so I'm going to pot and get it in. Seems like we lose both of them. Which is quite uh, unfortunate, but uh, that's okay. This is a fold. So we're losing about uh, 50 BB on each uh, table. Doesn't uh, feel nice, but uh, what do you do? Uh, this is a check fold. Yeah, strategy remains uh, the same as uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before, which is we play uh, in big cards, uh, connected cards, uh, suited cards. Uh, we'll be calling. Uh, we'll be calling again. If he bets. Now when he checks, I am going to bet the river value, hope he doesn't have free fire. And we take it down. Um, this is a limp. Uh, not going to be defending this, this person is quite wild. Let's make a note on that. Um, not this hand. Uh, with the king, we'll check call. We'll check call again. It doesn't change a lot. He does uh, decide to bet big. 
and consider check raising on uh, club but uh, will not <laughs> he does have uh, shift sign or flash um this is a fold now a uh, heads up we can uh, bind for a little more and he sits out which is uh, unfortunate we will close this table try and find some action elsewhere Decent hand against Mondelo. We could uh, squeeze. And uh, flop an over pair and a gut shot and a backdoor flush draw. Maybe block a 10. I think I just want to part and get this in. Double suited aces with one uh, bad suit. Mm, I think I'll limp this. Really don't want to limp raise, but uh, uh, here with ace queen queen. Double suited, I will be opening. So this is certainly an option, but uh, we will have to stack off if we play it this way. Uh, we can expect folds from Yogi Raj, although we really don't know if he'll fold. Of course he doesn't. Seems like we will be playing another high variance uh, spot. Okay. I mean, that's okay. Now when he's banging his head, he's telling me he had a set there. And Yogi folds, which is great. Oh, unfortunately, he makes a set on the river, which is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. I mean, uh, these guys are pretty bizarre. Mm. Let's see if we have uh, other action running. Um, I'm going to get on some uh, wait lists. He's already oh, we're already on this table. And we'll join the waitlist for this. Um, not a playable hand, bottom left. Not a playable hand again. But, uh, yeah, these guys are pretty uh, active. Mr. Yogi representing here as uh, King 7, Kings or Aces with a plush draw. Um, disconnected, uh, badly suited Queens. If he calls, uh, I, I'll probably take this. Uh, he is a little short. That is problem. But we have a note on him which says uh, type reflow. I mean, I think I should have let this. My my mistake. 
however should anyone bet i will probably check raise now and uh, that's what i'll do hoping uh, that they fold so very nice result tens and fours on the button it's too weak sorry um, seems like we have action Resize this. Uh, here against Ryogi Raj, uh, can consider squeezing. Although I don't mind taking this multi way with the nut suit. Uh, fairly well connected hand. I don't know if Mrikakash will squeeze. Skelter, Skelter, squeeze, we will call. Not our flop, we'll be folding this one. And end position will be. Uh, Defending this one. So fold. Uh, here with two pair and uh, the nut straight. Uh, we don't want to protect against uh, flush draws and uh, calling against uh, RV is certainly an option. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. It's a great uh, turn. Hope he pots it and we could get this in. Same hand. Unfortunately, he takes uh, the other one. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. <sighs> but uh, what do you do? Would have been nice though if something came our way. This is a pretty good open from under the gun. Ace 10 10 9 double super. We have the ace, which makes it easier for us to take the pot down pre flop. We have a connectivity and we have double pseudonyms and we have a medium pair. Always nice. Seems like there is a huge pot brewing. Yeah, thankfully not a part of it. With our crappy uh, top and bottom, I think we would have had to lay it down. Here with uh, this hand and a bed out. Raj gets uh, busted by Mundilo. Mundilo. Mundilo is a cool way to roll. Uh, bad doors, bad gut shot. Yeah, Mundilo is more oh, sorry, Munil Doshi is winning like buy him. Um, yes, a half pot size back we will call and this will probably go check check I think and now he when he bets half pot again I think he has a queen jack but not blocking clubs I will call this one now And that was, uh, I don't know what he was doing with the uh, aces, but uh, it is what it is. And here with having very little action on the, the right table, I think we'll switch and uh, take this one over. 
um, that one. Why did it become disconnected? Uh, I don't know why we have. Thank you for the invite. We will join. We will take our fifteen dollars and uh, test our luck. Okay. Yes, kind of annoying. Apologies, uh, my dear friends. Uh, with King, Queen, Ten, Ten, and a Tangle, I think I'll defend. Uh, here, I don't know. I blocking the queen. I would like to lead. I think that's what I'll do. I mean, if someone has, uh... yeah, I think on this turn I'll go all in. If someone has Jack four or Jacks, I am giving them a chance to fold. I mean, Jacks is certainly getting in there, but uh, this will be a check back with not much else going for me. And if we get Ace Queen to fold, that's a Big deal in, in my opinion. Here, uh, adding the gut shot. No one really taking an interest. I think I'll part. I mean, we are four way, but no one's really uh, vying for this uh, part. So I think I will Y for this. Uh, and when he snap checks, uh, blocking the ace and having no showdown uh, value, I think I want to pot again. And we get looked up from a straight, well played by him. Um, I mean, on the river, I don't think if there's any other sizing to bet over there. Uh, here with a pretty connected hand, but with uh, four hearts, I'm still going to call. And we'll be folding this flop if it gets uh, bet, most likely. Uh, despite the SPR, our hand is just too weak, and we're essentially drawing to a gut shot. So, uh, we'll take the free card. Ace King gets there. Fortunately. Obviously, be folding. Seems like uh, this person has uh, Ace King. Although, to be honest, with Ace King, would you really want to raise? I mean, certainly has a King, but does he have Ace King? I mean, if he wants to protect his uh, King X, I think raising is certainly fine and good. And I think that's what he probably had. Like a king x uh, kind of hand. He wants to protect from two flash draws out there. Pretty uh, viable strategy. Fold and fold.
I mean, losing is part of uh, poker, and I think in a game like uh, five card, losing will happen uh, fairly often. It's uh, kind of important to limit uh, your uh, losses. If you're not playing well, uh, I mean, I don't think this is a thing. But if your if the cards aren't going your way, although having played poker long enough, I do think there are some days which are. Uh, Crazier than usual, so maybe that is a thing. I'm going to keep uh, resizing my tables and uh, fold the side. Not really a hand. I want to play checking again and bluffing river. If we go absolutely unimproved, this is a fold. Easy fold bottom right. Easy fold bottom left. I mean, I tilt as well. I mean, I think we're talking about a very important subject in the game of poker. I tilt as well, and my usual tilt is to keep uh, playing uh, until I win back my money and whatnot. And I think uh, this is where I was uh, maybe a couple of years ago. I have been actively trying to uh, get rid of my tilt. I think uh, meditation certainly uh, helps. Having a life outside of poker certainly helps. Having and interacting with uh, non-poker friends, a significant uh, other really uh, helps seems like uh, we have a gut shot and an overpay and the money is going in someone with a hand like ace jack of course seems like he has better than ace jack now that he insta shoves We'll be okay with Jack seven instead of Jack. It's kind of tough, but uh, let's see what happens. Okay, and that is very brutal. <sighs> what do you do? Um, did he have a bottom pair and open end? I was trying to figure out what the hand he shoved with. I 
and see if that is a relevant note. 4, 5, 6, 9. So he had bottom pair and open and die. Yeah, this on a board that has 8, 9, 10 present. I don't think that's a winning strategy, but uh, I mean, I lost the hand. What do I know? Here we disconnected kings against cavalier. I think we'll see this one. Had we been uh, in, in the small blind, I would have been folding. And on this flop, uh, potting is good and if we get one caller we will be potting a non uh, heart turn that is not bad I am going to get the money in I mean if he has 3x that's just uh, redonkulous That's just uh, a kismet, kismet, and uh, it is what it is. But I think that's a fairly decent card to uh, bluff with a top board. I think I can consider shoving. I can also consider. What else can I consider? I can also consider a betting path, but that looks alarmingly strong. Mm, this is close on the button, but with one nut suit. Hands not really connected, but with one not so it uh, sort of goes up in value if you go multi way, and that was the whole uh, plan. Here, with the gut shot, the back door, not flush draw, and the uh, current flush draw against a big size bet. Uh, hey, raising. Um, I'll call this one. If he parts, it is very difficult to play this. He bets big. My assumption is he has. I mean, if he has uh, a flush draw crushed, that would be a disaster. Uh, now, with a pair uh, and a cut shot, the call is fine. And his shove here would be a complete uh, disaster. Uh, although I think we would probably call. <laughs> and I think here with this flush and the SPR being close to point uh, six, I think getting the money in is, is fine. Hopefully he finds a call with king 10 and a club. Or kings and a club. I think this will be the end of us probably on uh, the left table. Uh, fairly well connected hand. I mean it's not well connected but it is uh, pretty well suited. And here on 9, 10, 10 this is a tough spot. I think I'm going to part and uh, get it in. Seems like we are screwed. That is just insane. <sighs> I mean, with 20 blinds is, I don't know if checking uh, preflop is an option. Although I think with the game, way these games are playing, it might be. Yeah. 
So losing uh, n here and uh, losing about uh, one here. Looks like the eleven k. I mean, I'm okay with the way I play the hand, but if he limps uh, those hands, that's let's cut off with. I mean, we lost the hand, and you know that's okay. But uh, this limp is not uh, GD, probably. Uh, with the nut suit out of position, I think we'll let this one go. Uh, some more connectivity, and we would have played. Why did we not uh, post? It's really weird. You know, breaking even with a small victory on an earlier table on uh, ACR. Here on the button, if it gets folded to me, I will uh, play this hand. Uh, on the button, I will call with this hand against Mr. Gullu and we flop it with no backup. Um, this is uh, this can be a three bet. I think that's what I'll do. Forward. On that board, I think if we bet half part. I don't think I have a range that bets half pot, so I will uh, check out a turn. Hit a jack on the turn, and that's decent with a pair of jacks and a gut shot. Uh, just to check. It gives me plenty of showdown equity. Can go either way between a check and a bet. I think I'll go with a bet. It's snap card. And here on the river, I think his over pairs are more inclined to call. And now when he bets, uh, not sure what he is representing. 9-10 missed. I I don't know what he has. Not really sure. My guess is pocket kings. But I'm gonna get this up. Will be defending the nut suit. Mediocre connectivity. Flop a pair, a gut shot, and two backdoor flush draws. Five clubs would be nice. Because five of spades would be nicer. I think I'll start with the lead. Against Cavalino, who is a fairly decent player, we'll continue to play some uh, heads up with a decent hand. Five 
flop or decent. Oh, we have fourteen. This not uh, betting very big. I mean, with the queen in there, it would have been just uh, spectacular. He leaves, unfortunately. Um, so we are winning some money on this table, but it's not uh, not a lot. More pressingly, we are losing plenty of money on this table. It's kind of unfortunate. But I think this is a good time to uh, take a break and I think we'll be back for uh, part two. So see you guys. Bye bye.